Bronig Lake has freak mutant bass. That's just what they're known for. They have short, fat, thick bass. Got them San Antonio specials. Uh, <laughs> San Antonio units. San Antonio units. Uh, like like all the like all the Charles Barkley and everybody makes fun of us. <laughs> the, damn, damn thick girls. All right, we're recording on the camera. Recording here. Let's just take out this fucking Novo. Last bite. Appreciate you, sir. <clears throat> Welcome back to the pod. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't exactly have a name for this yet. Uh, no, we do. Oh, this is, it's official? It's official. I'm going to go with Unpacking Yakin' Podcast. Okay. What's the Instagram? Un oh. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. I set you up with all the password and all that, but I had so many that it... Okay, so the, okay, so the official... Instagram name is unpacking underscore yakin y a k i n underscore podcast. Almost sounds like a four year old virgin. Uh, she'd be hurting for a squirting. Uh, unpacking yakin, <laughs> she'd be hurting <laughs> for a squirting. Kind of reminded me of that. Um, right, unpacking so. yakin. Uh, and I know that seems like it's going to be kayak based only. That's not the case, but. It is true and through to who we are. We are kayak anglers, uh, kayak bass anglers, kayak saltwater anglers. So I don't want to lose the root of who we are, but we'll talk about everything from yakking, bank busting, boating, bank busting. guide <laughs> guide services, guides themselves, um, organizations, anything fishing. Whether it's on a kayak or not, anything fishing is going to be talked about. Is what I was, what I was saying. So, like, ideally for me, like, as a producer, what I want to do is I want to have uh, fishermen on here, wildlife and game uh, dudes on here. Cool. Um, you know, just business owners from other tackle shops and whatnot, photographers. <laughs> Ooh, that was tough. Um, business owners from other tackle shops inviting the competition. <laughs> I'm oh, about from, like, I out think of state. we need a shout out. I think so. I think what we should do, though, for sure to, like, uh, real is um, we want to thank our main sponsor so far, Outdoor Alphas, yeah. for letting us shoot the podcast here. Um, all of the uh, perks that come with that. It's 9023 Hebner Road, Suite 107. Um, they took a chance on us. They took a chance on all the guys on the pro staff team. And uh, we really appreciate them allowing us to be here. We're going to try to get Samuel on the pod one of these days. He's just a busy man running around doing a bunch of stuff. And you, and you finally got it when I said, you know, taco shop owners. Taco shop owners. Yeah. <laughs> Samuel. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> taco shop owners. So, anyways. So, what were you saying? So, as a uh, producer, what are you looking Yeah, for? so as a producer, I'm trying to have, um, of course, as you know, uh, fishing bros on here. I'm trying to get, you know, wildlife and game dudes on here. Um, and... Ultimately, I would love to build a relationship between, uh, you know, fish uh, anglers and Texas wildlife, you know, uh, rangers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, the other thing I do want to have... Game wardens. Game wardens, there you go. The game wardens. you were looking for. Yeah, that's exactly the word I was looking for. The other thing I want to do is um, comedians, photographers... Uh, and who partake in fishing. Who partake in Not fishing. Not just and comedians. And artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just art, just artists in general, <clears throat> whether it be comedians, um, you know, um, musicians, whatever you want to call it, like all of them that partake in some t type of like outdoor activity and fishing or hunting, whatever case may be. I want them to come through here. I think yeah. I think uh, fishing and outdoorsmanship kind of spans all t all walks of life. <clears throat> so exactly. anybody, like, it's cool. Like that's what I want to do too yeah. at the podcast is get to know the person, like personally who they are what they do what makes them tick but then also kind of how we're all we all have this common um we all have this common ground in fishing so yeah, again unpacking yakking uh yes the people who kayak bass fish or kayak fish in general will have like a little bit of a deeper connection with because it's just what we do yeah. it's, a, it's a community it's a tribe it really is but fishing in general um look at that turn off your damn things uh fishing in general though spans across all walks of life from dads to hell anybody yeah no 100 percent. you know and uh also dude i'd love to have um 
uh, swim bait makers in here? Or swim bait makers for sure. What they got? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll have to hit up Doug, Doug and yeah. Mike Evan House here in town, owners of Hill Country Swim Baits. Um, I don't know anybody else who makes swim baits locally like that, but there's a bunch, a bunch of good swim bait makers all over. We'd have to probably like invite them fishing to yeah. make the trip worth it, <laughs> well, you know? So that, like that, if they're from out my, of state. Yeah. So like that's my, that's what I mean. Like I want to really like a, uh, be like a whole vibe, but as corny as that might sound. Ideally, um, we want them to pick up gear here, you know, if uh, Samuel, uh, you know, can afford it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sam going to have a heart attack when they, they walk out the door with, uh, like, you know, 1500 bucks in gear. But um, No, they'll, they'll pay. No, <laughs> what, I'm, what I'm trying to do is uh, we're trying to get uh, get them to come in here, you know, shop, um, get gear, talk about, like, you know, like, just their preferred gear that they use, you know, why they use it, how long they've been using it, you know. Um, get that on video too, and then um, go fishing with them, and record a pod. Like you know, like all those three things. Samantha was actually saying she's like, "Why don't y'all record it on the water? That would be super yeah, cool." Dude. I was like, dude, <laughs> it's hard. Roland has been trying to get that shit in the in the works forever, but I just don't understand how we could have all this on the on like the quad in the middle of the day, no yeah. outlets, nothing. Like, so, how would you record a podcast outdoors? Like, I mean, on a phone or something, I get, but... So, I've, I've seen these mic booms and these mic exact microphones on a boat, but, bro, like, the maintenance on that... Well, that's different because the boat, they probably attached yeah. it to the boat battery. Yeah, exactly. But, <clears throat> however, there is one person who's actually doing something about it. Um, well, I wouldn't say on the water, but he's doing it off the bank. Um, David Lucas. Mm -hmm. David, Dave, shout out to David, man. Uh, go check out his comedy. He's going to be here in San Antonio in March. Uh, let me double check on that. He's going to be performing a Laugh Out Loud. But uh, my boy David Lucas has a fishing channel, and we'll plug him in too. All right, let's get this up and going. So he's going to be here uh, sometime this month in March. Um, fence calendar. So David ideally takes like um, comedians, it's called Fishing with David Lucas on that show, but he's the only person that's doing that's doing it right. So he's gonna be at La Fala Comedy March sixteenth. Go check him out, my boy David Lucas. He's still oh, fishing. Oh, that's right around the corner. Yeah, we'll go check it. We'll go. We check should him out. go. Yeah, no, definitely. We should go. We'll hit him up. We'll try to get him through here. Uh, maybe, hopefully, if he's open, uh, get him to do a pod episode. Hook him up with some gear. That'd be pretty dope. Oh god, we gotta get out. We gotta get all the rust off before <laughs> March first today. Wait for sure. Is that <laughs> Wait for sure? Is that ain't gonna be ready by then? But we'll see. We'll see. Fuck it. He'll be in town. But uh, David will take out c other comedians and just people he finds uh, interesting in all walks of life. Whether it be an MMA fighter, jujitsu comedian, um, podcast uh, podcast host, whatever. He'll take them out fishing. You know, and they'll fish somewhere up in one of the lakes there in Austin. <clears throat> They don't have any microphones or anything like that, so they're using um, probably like portable road mics. So I mean, we'd have to look into that and try to see how it sounds. And if it doesn't sound good, you know, I I'm all about quality. Mm -hmm. So damn. Maybe today we talk about the hopes and dreams of the podcast, yeah. like why <laughs> we're doing it, what we're doing it for, um, and then start start with guests. Hopefully soon. Yeah. Very very soon. Um, well, yeah, let's do that then. So what uh, what y'all do last weekend? On Sunday? So last weekend on Sunday, on Sunday, uh, we hit up Bronick Lake. I, we'll talk about that too. Let's talk about city limit fishing here in San Antonio. So during the winter months, um, January, February, rarely March. It's March 1st today. So, you know, not, not as much anymore, but... You know, you can still hit them up until it gets to, like, the dead dog days of summer. Um, we went to Bronick Lake, uh, T. Polk, T. Money, Travis Polk. He uh, he has a boat. <clears throat> we fish off of it periodically. Like I said, this is a yakking based podcast, but we're going to talk fishing in all facets. He has, a, like, an 18-foot or 16-foot John boat. We kind of rigged up with some seafoam decking. Uh him and his mom and his brother, they split a, a 25 horsepower motor, a Yamaha. Um, I helped him out a little bit with some of the trolling motor stuff, some of the batteries. Um, we took a we took a guy in the fit in the truck community. <clears throat> the, we took him. Travis and I were kind of like their guides 
on a brotherhood bucket list thing. We took um, kayak bass fishing on the Llano River and um, they caught fish and then we took them to my ranch and we shot birds. So he had paid us to do that. He had gave us some money for kind of setting everything up. We had to get the U-Haul and all this stuff, go get boats in San Angelo. It was crazy. Um, and we, excuse me, use some of that money. <laughs> Use some of that money to get the, the boat kind of rocking and rolling. Travis won a tournament out there at Ivy, hottest lake in the country right now. Um, threw some of that money to the boat. So we have a nice little boat now that we get to use well, here. Wait, let me interrupt you real quick. Um, before you continue on with the story, you said Lake Ivy is hot. It's what hot. Do you, what do you mean by that? Lake Ivy is hot. Lake Ivy is the is the new um, go-to lake in the country, but it's very misleading. Okay. And go into that, and then I want you to talk, tell everybody how much people are dropping on fucking money for guides. Oh, okay. So, long story short, Ivy, I've actually fished Ivy personally since like 20, shoot, 14, 15. It's in the middle of nowhere, BFE. I would say the closest town. So, uh, my family has property in Brady, Texas. It's in between Brady, San Angelo, I mean, north of Brownwood, it, it's in the middle of no, like the towns next to, there is no town next to it. I mean, 30 minutes to the nearest like town the size of Brady. So four to 5,000 people, a town like that, it's about 30, 45 minutes away. So it's in the middle of nowhere. It's a reservoir that um, basically combines the Colorado and the Concho River. So the Concho River and the Colorado River merge together at Lake Ivy and that forms Lake Ivy. Yeah. Um, it's always been a big fish lake. I remember Manny and I would watch YouTube videos back two, three, shit, I take that back, maybe six, seven, eight years ago. I have to link it, man. These guys out in the kayaks and some Hobies, dude, were killing it in Ivy, like 2012, 2011. They were catching like 11s and 13s. Look it up. They no back in the day, go to kayak, uh, I'm sure it's gonna get flooded with new content, but go to kayak bass fishing Lake Ivy. Lake OH Ivy. <clears throat> Let's see. Kayak. Nope, 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 nope. Scroll down. It'll be years ago, dude. Like over five All or right. six years. Put in so kayak easy. fishing OH Ivy. Put that in the search bar. Put kayak fishing OH Ivy. These dudes were the OGs, bro. <laughs> Yo, whoever said Jamie's uh, job's easy, fucking lied. <laughs> Shit ain't easy. No, look at it. All right. This is from one year, two months. No, 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 no. This is like when GoPro like three or four was out. Like the quality is not all there. Go up. That's dope. What is that? Which one? Let's go this? down. Let's go down. No, no, down a little bit. Down, down, down. That right there. Who's that? Who is that? I don't know who that is, but it just looks like a... Oh, kind of. Kristen Fisher. Yeah, Kristen Fisher. Uh, Guillermo. Guillermo Gonzalez's girlfriend. We should get Guillermo on here. So that's what's crazy about the Is kayak fish. No, they're from like uh, like the Fork area, like Fork. The the kayak fish community is so tight-knit. Like super tight-knit. Like, I mean, everybody knows everybody in kayak fishing. Um, yeah, so if you do anything sketchy, people will know who you are. There's a lot of drama, too, to talk about the fishing world. Here, let me see real quick. Go for it. Let me check it out. Let me see something. Let me see. Okay. So. <clears throat> well, that's why, bro. Shit, like you said, Jamie's job ain't easy. You got to spell the shit right, too. <laughs> here. Let's see. Let's see. No dead air, no dead air. Here we go. Ten years ago. Ten years ago. Can I, can I play it? Like, is that cool? Go for it. It'll probably be... Go for it. You want to put the volume on it? Yeah, how do you do it? It's right here. Oh, my bad. Look. Damn. <clears throat> okay, so look at the quality. But this video right here, this video made Manny and I and Travis want to hit Ivy. 2012. The lake looks nothing like this now. This the lake was probably 20% full at this part at this point. But these dudes were catching 11 and 12s on the kayak. 
back in the day. This video right here, 10 years ago. 44,000 views. I can I can promise you Manny and I are a thousand of those views. Let me get it off. Uh, let's go to like when they're starting to catch. So all that right there is probably 30 feet underwater now. 30 feet? Or so, yeah. Jesus Christ. Like look at this, look at this fish. 20, oh, that's a small one. That's a dink. Let's see. Seven pounder. No, no, go back. Go back, 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 back. Right there, that one. Let's go back a little bit. 11.5. You see what I'm saying? They were catching these fish way back when. And, best of all, electronics were not. Oh, they're, they're not using electronics at all. They're just, they are just, um, well, I take that back. They are. But they're, uh, well, but I mean, they're yeah, the, that guy is. Yeah, but they don't, it's not a fucking live scope. Oh, yeah, this was 10 years ago. Look at that. 11. So, I don't know who these guys are. I don't know if they're alive anymore. Texas Whitaker. Texas Whitaker. It's on YouTube. On He's YouTube. got 790 subscribers. This, this video right here is the video that Manny and I basically started to fall in love and Travis and I just started falling in love with look at the camera look at that fucking camera he's using bro bro <laughs> so the name of the video is called epic kayak bass fishing on o h i v i v i e oh look look at this one this one's from seven years ago so it's probably got a little bit better content because of the upgrade and but I mean dude look that's just that's just that's just grassroots YouTube 10 seven years ago on your fucking Mac I look at this right here, big bad time. Did this seven years ago, dude. I don't even know where that's at. So they're coming from north, clearly. Yeah, so you got him. This looks like North Texas or even Oklahoma, Fort, Fort Worth. Worth. So see, they're coming from north. Hey, when you're from Texas, you just know, brother. So see, they're not from Abilene. No, yeah. so they're coming from north down. Yeah. Um. See, it looks like Brady. All right, but look at that. Look at that, dude. Just. I think that was your racist neighbor's house right there at the past. Psh, probably. <laughs> Look at that, dude. Look at that, man. That tree right now, that tree is clear underwater by 10, 20 feet for sure. You know what's so weird is that uh, Lake Ivy is completely filled, but <laughs> the waters here are dry, bro. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, it's dropping fast, like all our lakes, but it's not a. Um, yeah, he does. It's not an irrigation. Uh, lake like Medina where Medina is used for farm irrigation Ivy is not Mark apparently found a new honey hole of his I was like hey bro I know we just talked about not sharing spots but why don't you throw me a bone real quick let's see what is this <laughs> and Mark was like nah I ain't telling you this <laughs> so these these guys man these but guys yeah, he, he apparently found uh, found a new spot out by the Medina didn't tell me where you want to so anyways, this shit right here, look at the gill. These guys right here, Texas Whitaker, they're the guys that pretty much made Manny and I obsessed and Travis t obsessed with trying to learn Ivy. I proposed to my wife at that lake, as silly as that sounds. That was in 2017, 2016. Um, so here we are in 2023. Fast forward all these years, and it's the hottest bass fishing lake in the country. So tell people uh, <clears throat> they're paying for guides. So out guides out there are running anywhere between a thousand to two thousand dollars a day. A fucking day. A day. A day. That now that right there, that's a that's a big gatekeep to the to the industry. So Bro. that that's what I'm saying. We're trying to make it more affordable for people. Um, not affordable, but just give people the knowledge and give people the kind of know-how to go out there and do it. But yeah, one, one to two thousand dollars. And keep in mind, these people are using live scope. I got nothing against live scope, but I mean, I've, I've been on a boat with live scope before and I mean, basically, it's basically the same thing as you would with a sonogram with, uh, with your pregnant wife, you know? Like, yeah. I mean, you're looking at fish. Um, and when they're, when they're dialed in to me, call it, crazy call it purist i'm not paying to sh i'm not paying to shoot a deer i'm not paying to catch fish um uh, i've been graced with enough skill and talent to learn over the years how to catch fish how to shoot deer all that i'm yeah. not, i'm not paying no amount of money is worth paying i mean if you've got the money and two thousand dollars is worth the fish of a lifetime 
go for it. Hey. But I, it's not me. But I mean, the thing is, like, also, it's like it's not the same as like you going out there and getting it yourself. You know? Yeah. Because when you're paying for these guys with these, uh, with you know that absurd pr- absurd price, and don't get me wrong. They're worth I've, every penny if you yeah, catch no. a fourteen pounder. That, that's but that's on you. That's the yeah, choice you make. Exactly. I'd suck a dick if I could be making two grand a day, bro. Like Clip literally. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you uh, imagine hey. making two grand a day to fish? Bro, I know, oh, man. Crazy. And then, I mean, they got to pay. And they what? probably have booked weeks. Bro. Oh, they're booked out day. They're booked. Yeah, booked they'll out they'll once. post. They'll post yeah. like, hey, I got it. Somebody canceled a week and a half from now. But every fucking day between yeah. then and then, you know, they're booked. So. I mean, dude, power to you. Make your money. You fucking. I'm not paying that to catch fish. Yeah. Um, but the, like as I was saying, like the customers are already have it in the back of their mind. Like I'm gonna be catching a fucking trophy, a, a fish of a lifetime. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just like where's the fun in that? You know, that's that's just my argument right there. Yeah. You know, it's just it's not the same as waking up early in the fucking morning with your boys, uh-huh. loading everything up, putting in the fucking work, putting in the fucking miles, uh-huh. and then getting it done, catching a nice fucking. Life fish of a lifetime that day. Uh, yeah, you know, with Travis just caught. Travis caught in his tournament. We did a we do a we fish a trail with Kayak West Texas. Those guys are awesome. Shout out to Kayak West Texas. Um, Travis won everything last year. Yeah, big bass, uh, top five or top you know longest five fish. He caught a twenty six inch mouth open. He didn't have a scale. But it was a fucking IV twelve all day. Well, yeah. I'll post a picture later. But yeah, IV twelve. Uh, he was all pissed because yeah. I didn't have cell phone service. And he's like, you boost mobile ads, couldn't help yeah, me. He, he told me that yeah. story at uh, Manny's wedding. And <laughs> that was when I... <laughs> he was... <laughs> so we're, we're at... Our, uh, our boy Manny got married. It was uh, me, Travis, our boy Gilbert, and um, I forgot who else in our, our partners. Oh, and, and Ross. Shout out to Ross. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> we're there. I was the only motherfucker eating tacos. And Travis was hungry as shit, looking at me and staring at me. Eat the tacos while you oh, telling yeah, the story. Oh yeah, yeah, because your dumbass got the food before everybody, you know, like before the wedding party and shit. Hilarious. <laughs> Hold on, I, Chris was like, "Hey, uh, yeah, this is where everybody eats." I was like, "Fuck yeah!" I went to go grab my food. I fixed her plate. You know, husband, uh, you know, boyfriend of the year, husband of the year, whatever you want to call it. And then I'm just there. <laughs> Travis was just starving the whole fucking time, and his his uh, fiance is like, "Stop staring at his food." Like. <laughs> And he's That's like, so funny. Can I go get a please? And she's like, No, you can't. You gotta wait for everybody else. He's like, Berlin's just disrespectful as fuck. Yeah, <laughs> I had to apologize to him too. But he told me that story. How he had caught that fish. And yeah, yeah, and I was nowhere to be seen. Yeah. And dude, that's how fishing goes. So Travis is, has the day of his lifetime. Catches a fish of a lifetime, just for himself and the terrible iPhone photos you get in that type of excitement. Um, and then we meet up in a couple coves later, like a couple coves apart from each other. We meet up. It's maybe hours later after he's caught and released the fish. And he's like, you catching anything? I hadn't put a fish on the board. And he's like, well, I'm turning the fuck around because I caught a 26. <laughs> and I, I didn't believe him. I was like, you're lying, dude. A 26 no would be like way. 12 pounds. He was like, I caught a 26. And I was like, I when, he said, when he said it like that. You know, I'm just okay. Fuck. He's like, check it out. I saw the picture and I was like, bitch, that's fucking crazy. Yeah. So, Travis has the PB of the boys' crew right now. We don't know what the weight is, but we're just gonna call it twelve. Um, just anywhere between eleven hey, and twelve. He um, definitely has the PB. It was Manny know, for years. I, I don't know, Bucko. Oh, uh, that fish that Manny caught. You know, uh, when we went to Brady a couple, uh, like a month ago for your for your birthday. What did he cut? Huh? Oh, it was a seven. <laughs> It's a tank. Oh, it's a yeah, tank. Yeah, that was a seven. That was a seven. No, dude, this fish was this fish was different. This fish was this fish is like twenty six inches mouth open, so yeah. 24 and a half, 25 and a half mouth closed, and it was a freaking hog, man. Dude. And I'm so happy for him, Ch- dude. Fucking T Pog, bro. He won like he won a rod. He won like eleven, twelve hundred bucks. Dude, he was enjoying himself after that, bro. Him and the the tournament director is a super cool guy. Uh, we just hung out, and him and Travis were just pounding beers. Travis was just getting shit faced, enjoying his victory, man. That power to him, dude. That I I feel that those <laughs> are. I mean, I was like, all right, man, I'll drive. Just get hey. fucked. Like enjoy it, dude. You hey. caught the fish of your lifetime, and you won a fuck. You won the whole tournament, big bass, top top angler, the whole night. Like enjoy that shit. Yeah, dude. I mean, that reminds me of that uh, that uh, meme sequence photo where it shows a dude on the on the stand. And it's like. 
it, it's like third place or whatever, and he's like spraying the champagne. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Travis was actually at the top. That was me <laughs> in fifth place <laughs> with like a with like a eighty dollar check. I paid my money back. I'm gonna. <laughs> Travis is sitting at the top with fucking eleven hundred bucks, big check. Fucking, Chiefing himself a nice bowl. Bro, <laughs> chiefing a bowl. <laughs> washing it bowl. down with a fucking Lone Star Light. Come on, dude. dude he he deserved that, man. Travis Travis has been putting in a lot of work like like all of us. But um, dude, also, I was hey, super happy for you him. You got to have him on here because he, he makes his own baits. Yeah, he does. He makes his own baits, dude. Dude, he just gets to work, bro. He just fucking gets in the zone, starts fucking molding shit, pours it, burns yeah. his hand off. <laughs> Fuck, hey, he, he's made a couple baits. He's made the Wobble Walker, which I've caught a tank on that. And then he's, we make, he makes something we call the, what do you call it? The tea money It's basically yeah. just a, like a, a curly tail, you know, uh, like a trailer for like a chatter bait or a swim bait or you could probably belly weight. It's just like a, a worm with a with a with a curly tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you showed it to me at the wedding. Yeah, yeah. The, you told me how we made the molds too. Yeah, like with clay. With clay. Yeah. yeah, dude, it's so funny, man. He made a crawl. It wasn't the best design, but it's a T polk design, yeah. and he he's chunking it. He's got a he's got a saltwater shrimp too that he made yeah. for like a, like a gold shrimp. Dude, that one actually looks good. Like it kind of shovels in the water. It looks good. Uh, hopefully we can get some good drone footage and some nice cast to catches on the boat this summer um, down there at the coast. But um, speaking speaking of um, speaking of photos, man, I'm re I really want to get a Aquatech underwater oh, housing. Dude, just you just go get a fucking fish tank at Walmart, bro. <laughs> no, we'll dude. Just take uh, so, with it. so the thing is with the fish tank is that um, this is one thing I learned because when I was working with Black Can't Rifle Can't Water Good? No, I'll, I'll get into that. Uh, so when I was working at Black Rifle Coffee Company, um, I was shooting for a guy named Richard Ryan. He's one of the co-founders of Black Rifle Coffee Company. And um, we did uh, YouTube episodes of underwater. Uh, we're firing guns underwater mm. of all calibers. And that's the, that's the thing they were using. No, so I asked him, why don't we just use a glass aquarium? He said, you can't. Because the glass aquarium with the pressure, it'll crack. You want to well, yeah, go the well, when you you're want... shooting a gun, I would imagine. Well, no. Also, think about it. When you're pressing that that tank lower, and you keep that other uh, that other the hole inside of it shallow, that pressure will slowly start to like you know mm. crush it. You know, and then I of feel course, like I've yeah. seen guys take videos. No, no, that. they do, but they just don't push it down all the way. You got to try and say it. So, like, yeah. what I'm I'm trying to be underwater, like. Ultimately, what I like to get, and this is like, I have this idea in my head. What I have is, I'm going to be underwater, and this is in a, uh, a perfect world where I'm not terrified of the water. Uh, uh, Albert and man, you know, like, like before I even hit the water, like I'm like fucking sweating, I'm like breathing heavily, because I'm terrified of alligators. And granted, there's not a lot of alligators in on the Guad or these waters that we fish. I don't know about the Medina; it looks a little sus to me, but oh, there's gators. <laughs> But not everywhere. So, They're congregated. So, see what I mean? He says that, and then over there in Austin, they caught a bunch of fucking gators recently. Oh, Austin? Yeah, bro. I'll show you the fucking article. Oh, right that, yeah, that's fucking dudes who buy them as pets and then don't realize they don't ever stop growing, and then they let them go. <clears throat> yeah, dude, they uh, they caught a bunch of them. Uh, I mean, alligators are scary, bro, but you, you can, as long as... There's a mutual respect. Like, you don't fuck with them, they don't fuck with it's just, you. It's just the nuisance gators that technically attack people, but... Yeah. But, th know. but those are those are old pets that have been hand-fed before that end up not being able to survive in the wild on their own and then resort Which, to, like... Go swimming in Choc Canyon, then. Nah. <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> but if you're fishing with them, you're fine. Yeah, no. Uh, normally, like... But, again, I have this fear, and the reason why I have the fear is because... In Laredo, Texas, one time when I was fishing at night at Lake Casablanca, I was doing an overnight trip with uh, some buddies. Well, I fell off the pier when I caught something. It was something big, but granted, it was probably like an alligator gar or something, but the last thing I saw was snout and teeth, and I fell directly on top of it, and the rest was just a bunch of uh, splashing, and then me just trying to swim back to the, uh, uh, to the shore. But that scared the fuck out of me. And it ingrained in me to stay away from water. And uh, what I ended up doing to try to overcome this fear, before I get back into our subject lining on photo, underwater photography, was 2017. Um, 
I have this thing, actually, I have this thing where once I have an idea implanted in my head, like mm -hmm. it's hyper, like hyper -focused. Hard to break it. Hard to fucking break it. So I learned that, um, Richard, I actually fucking learned, saw that with me. That's why he convinced me, say, hey, do you, you want to go skydiving? Hmm, I'm terrified I'm of heights. Yeah, I'm terrified of heights too, but. Did you go skydiving? No, so ideally, um, he had this idea. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say the idea was, but he wanted me to film something. Once I got that idea stuck in my head, I was like, "All right, I'm gonna get my skydiving license. We're gonna film this, you know." And that's you get to do like ultimately the way a it crap is. ton of jumps to get that. Done. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, and uh, many uh, uh, many diaper changes. Yeah, I'm fucking shit myself. That. But not not doing that. Anyways, 2017, um, I got the idea that I want to film sharks. You know. What are you fucking with? That. Huh. Just putting it in. Damn, bro. Fucking <laughs> autism right there. Fucking yeah, it's bugging me, bro. So anyways, I get this idea that I want to film sharks. So I got that idea stuck in my head. Once I got the idea stuck in my head, we went out to Cabo, uh, San Lucas. I think they took us to, what was it, Guadalupe or something like that. Mm -hmm. he, they just told me that there was a lot of fucking sharks. And I was, Did you get any on film? They told me, black. hold on, wait, hold on. They told me it was reef sharks. That are gonna be there when we're gonna be scuba diving. Uh huh. Then I come to find out it's actually an area where all the fucking great white sharks are. Nice. Since um, I guess San Diego or whatever. Um, what is that? Uh, th that ocean right there. Basically, in San, in San Diego, there's a lot of sharks that migrate through there. The ocean that would be like the Pacific. Yeah. So, anyways. Um, yeah, we're there, and then they're telling us a story about this fucking megalodon, apparently, that's still alive, and it's an urban legend. It's folklore. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's an actual... It sounds like urban, Manny. It's an urban legend. You can go look it up online. I'll pull it up, uh, but it's apparently like a black megalodon or whatever, you know? They're telling me all this... Of course it's black, dude. <laughs> Racist, dude. <laughs> of course it's a black, problematic animal. I mean... Fucking America, bro. <laughs> Like, no they one, they, didn't, they yeah. didn't name Dangerous Ice White Ice. I yeah. mean, that must explain why all the locals are afraid of it. Um, that's <laughs> what I'm saying, dude. God damn. Anyways, well, all jokes aside, um, they told me that I was like shitting bricks. I was nervous. My, my, I'm gonna go swim. I'm gonna go scuba diving with my little sister. Mm -hmm. As soon as we get there, we uh, we anchor down. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna get over this fear. I'm, I'm gonna be the first to jump in. You know, while the first group goes out scuba diving. I jump in, strong ass fucking current, strong ass waves, and on top of that, the water was like 49 degrees. And there he was. <laughs> and there Black I was. Lodon. And there I was, uh, getting swept away <laughs> to my fucking death. Then I'm like looking, because they're snorkeling, like in other, like, areas there, air, there. I'm the only motherfucker in the water. And then I'm looking at all of them, and I'm like, huh. I'm they're just like, getting swept more, pushed more and more away from the fucking boat. They're just watching you? Yeah, they're just watching me, and I'm just, like, asking, like, you know, kind of, like, give, like, you know, what's up? And they're just, like, water too cold, lots of sharks. <laughs> it's like, fuck. And they were, like, megalodon. <laughs> <laughs> but we actually didn't see any sharks there when we went, uh, when we went scuba so diving. So it was all in your head? Uh, yeah, it was a big mental fuck, but it was a way for me to try to come over that fear. It felt really good after yeah, I, I might, I might have, you know, like. So then, what you're saying is, when we go to Choke Canyon next, I'm just gonna fucking tackle your ass into the water and we'll see where it goes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Choke Canyon S is no, it's not a place to swim, swim at all. There's uh, they got, they got they got the uh, what was it, the Texas record or United States record? I think it's gotta be Texas. Yeah, Texas record. There's some big, there's some big gators there. Our there. Biggest gator. You stay out their way. They stay out your way. You run over one on accident, it happens. It's not they're not out to get you, but if you act stupid, if you're looking for problems, you'll get, you'll find it. Um, you know, sometimes they'll just go look at you in the eye and tell you see you later, alligator. Right. So I think we got real off topic from our very beginning. We were talking about the what we did this weekend. So and then, <laughs> and then we all, uh, also talked about underwater photography. Underwater but, photography. But it's just the way it goes, man. I mean, we're learning as it goes. You know, we're just we're just drifting. We're like drifting rolling off. in the cold water. Back back to the whole thing. Um, I would like to get. You know, uh, with the underwater photography, I'd like to get uh, swim bait videos. Uh, I, I'd love to be able to get capture underwater you catching a fish. That would be really hard. I know, but we could do it. Hey, but we could do it. You might have to like just set the camera up stationary, but that 
Yeah. It's just tough. I, I don't even know. Because everything has to happen so organically. Like, you can't be there. I mean, we could always throw Manny in the water. You know, he'll blend in. <laughs> right. He's like a beast. <laughs> he'll look like a big-ass bl- uh, blue, blue, blue catfish. Blue cat. Uh, so, what we ended up doing was we got on the water in the morning at Braunig. They opened at 6 a.m. Um, we were, like, second in line. Uh, Braunig Lake has freak mutant bass. That's just what they're known for. They have short, fat, thick bass. Got them San Antonio specials. Uh, <laughs> San Antonio units. San Antonio units. Uh, like ch- like all the like all the Charles Barkley and everybody makes fun of us. <laughs> the, damn, damn thick girls there, bro. So thick, we just flip girls. reeds, man. Flip reeds. I was throwing a tungsten with a uh, with a with a four aught jungle hook. I was throwing a brush hog. I that's just a confidence bait of mine. You could throw any plastic. Whoa. The people that don't know, what are those things? What is a four aught? So a four aught is just the size of a hook, like the four aught, just the, the width of the J hook, and it's a flipping hook, so it's strong as shit. You can fucking lift the person out with it. Go pick up by the strongest. Yeah, it's not it's not gonna bend out. You'll break your rod first. Um, but you need that because you're flipping into reeds, like thousands of reeds. Um, and plastic of your choice. I like throwing the I like throwing a brush hog with a little bit of chilito on the end just to give them <laughs> something to aim at. It's just all it's confidence. Flavor, bro. Kayak, the girls fishing, like the flavor. Fishing in general is just all your confidence. What you're confident in and what I'm confident in are completely different things, and they both catch. Um, but so we're flipping, flipping, flipping. Uh, I ended up getting first blood around. No, I actually had a, a giant swing and a miss on a big bass. It had to be another five or six. Um, and then uh, we fished the whole one whole bank to no avail. Actually, I lied. Manny ended up catching a red flipping. Just real quick. Whenever one of us catches a fish, like low key, the other one's punching air. Like, yeah, that's usually the way it goes. Especially and then the, when Manny sees me catch yeah. a fish, and then and then the shit talking starts happening in the group chat immediately. <laughs> immediately. Um, so we flip, flip. Manny caught a red, and then we switched up sides because the wind was protected on that side. Yeah. And as soon as, as soon as we took our little our little bathroom break. We got back on the water, started fishing, and I caught a fish right away. Like the first hundred yards of that bank, I flipped, caught a four nine, took some photos, let it go, and then like thirty or forty minutes later, Manny catches a five six, um, and then Manny had to get off the water early because it was his dad's <laughs> retirement party or retirement lunch. So we dropped him off at the boat ramp, and the dude, the wind was like seventeen miles an hour. He was getting sketched. So we dropped them off, and Travis and I kind of made the executive decision to not fight the wind in the boat. It just wasn't going to be worth it because we had to be off around lunch anyway. So we dropped Manny off at 1030. There's no point in fighting the wind to drive back to fish for like 40 minutes to then fight the wind to drive back. So we just stayed by the boat ramp, and there's a bunch of reeds by the boat ramp. We were flipping, 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 and Travis was talking, and he was like, man, this reminds me of the coast, all these reeds. As soon as he said that, Boom, he got hammered by a 399. So it was like literally right at four pounds. So everybody caught a fish. So you do the math five, six, four, nine, and then basically a four. We had, I don't know, 14 pounds, 14, 15 pounds with three fish. That lake, you, you can easily stick a dirty 30 with like under 100 inches, which is That's fucking crazy, there, man. Like to get 25 to 30 pounds of fish but they don't length measure 100 inches, that's insane. I think that's got to be one of the only lakes in the country that that can be done. Or that or Calaveras. Like yeah. where you can catch 25 pounds of fish that don't break 100 inches. Because most five pounders are like 21, These... 22 inches. So five yeah. fives, you're going to be at like 110 inches. Bro, I strongly believe it's that power plant that's there that's causing all those fish to fucking... All the mercury, all the fucking... Whatever, it's a power plant lake, so it's warmer water. So that's why in the winter, it's better. Because in the winter, you're fishing warm water. Wherever all the natural water is, let's say it's 40 degrees, the water temp is like in the low 40s, or uh, high 40s rather, low 50s. The Calaveras and and Braunig, because they're keeping the power plant from, from overheating... It's discharging out that warm water. I would say uh, it has the reverse effect where most waters pick up in the summer because of the warm weather. Bronnet will shut off come midsummer because the water will be like 95 degrees. That's fucking boiling at that point. That's so, nothing to do with uh, radioactive water. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's basically keeping a power plant cool. So it's releasing warm water. So in the winter, when everywhere else the bodies of water are in the 40s and 50s, 
Bronig two weeks ago when it was actually cold, we launched and it was like 32 in the morning. It, I think the water temp was like 59, almost 60, so almost double the air temp. So yeah. that's just you don't you don't see that natural like you know unless it's the spring fred river which those have all about drow you know dried up yeah. over this past year but um because of that you're able to fish in you know ideal conditions in non-ideal weather there's a lot of um there's a lot of uh hispanics that that fish there it's like basically every poodle san antonio and whatnot they all go there to fish go there bank bus Put the beach of cowboys on <laughs> the back of the Chevy. Is there with the jean shorts? <laughs> but it's a good lake. I mean, you can well, you can catch big blue cat, big channel cat, big reds, bro. big fat bass. That that lake is full of stuff. It used to have like bass that were like found in Australia or the, <laughs> or the coast. No, they they, they stopped really? stocking them. Yeah, let me um. Let's look it up. Let me look at what they used to stock there. I've always wondered if one day we'll accidentally run up on catching one that just never died. Uh, bro, those Poodle Santana dudes, bro, they be getting down with those reds, bro, down there. Uh, they catch yeah, some fucking big see. ones, man. Um, dude, bro, last time uh, when me and Manny went there, Manny caught it all really, like, maybe like a 30-inch 30, a 30 inch red. And... Um, I could be off with that fucking number, but we we actually were going to eat it and make ceviche. Mm -hmm. And when we gutted it up, bro, we found like almost like fatty skin underneath it. Mm -hmm. Like in the insides of it, we didn't know if there were tumors or what, but me and man were, made the decision like, uh, I don't think this might be good. Mm -mm. What? Uh, look up. I have it on Palm video too. It's look up insane. palmetto bass. I don't palmetto think that's bass. what it is, but just look that up. That's a weird one that I don't really know. Palmetto bass. Palmetto bass. Uh, how do you spell it? P A L M E T T O. All right, I got it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I see these things all the time in Lake. Oh, so that, so that's just pretty much a. Uh, Looks like that's a, just uh, a striper. Yeah, a striper. That's all it is. Yeah. Okay, and then here it is. It's called the Corvina. C O R V I N A. Corvina. Corvina. Cor Corona. Corvina. Hey, don't don't. Don't say anything with core, bro. Look, Same that, thing as cro a coronavirus. That right there. They used to have those in the lake. And then they stopped stocking them because I think they were like... Invasive. Over, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't remember why they stopped stocking them, but they used to stock the lake with those. They're like bro. a saltwater fish from... Not from here. Basically like a red. Yeah, I, Dude, I can't wait until we bring uh, a game warden in here and start talking about invasive species. That would like be cool. Like all the mussels that are out there on the river. Uh -huh. As well as... Um, those uh, suckers, those algae eaters that people have been releasing on the quad that you used to, that you buy off Walmart or Petsmart. Uh huh. You know what those are? Oh yeah, yeah, they're yeah. yeah. Those are up, invasive. Yeah, they're, apparently they're fucking Carp, up the environment. Carps are invasive. Uh, or remember that fucking snakeheads. Uh, remember, we don't really have like cool invasive shit like peacock bass or anything. We have like fucking all the bullshit. I'm, I'm 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 pretty sure we're gonna get that one day. The only thing we have that's invasive now in Texas that's pretty awesome is uh low fence access but <laughs> like low fence access like they're just all over the place. Oh, it's dude. crazy. They're all over your property. All over, yeah. Again that's super cool. That's an invasive species where you're like, hell yeah, you can hunt year round. They have two ruts. Um they, the have, they, have, they have more than one uh, one deer. They have more than one deer in their litters or whatever you call it, but yeah, it's it's a, it's a nice, that's a good invasive problem to have. The but so I don't know why they stopped. So that, but that's the fish, the corvina. Like that, that used to be like in both lakes, Calaveras and Bronig. They um, they used they used to stock. Yeah, it's a saltwater fish. I'm pretty sure. Just yeah. like I mean, obviously it's a that's the speckles on that. That's the speckled trout right there. Yeah, it's it's like it's a brackish water fish where obviously you can survive in fresh, fresh salt water. Salt. They used to. It says they used to stack. They used to stock tarpon too. Yeah. Tarpon. tarpon. Weird. Tarpon. Shut yeah. The fuck up. At Browning Lake. At Browning Lake. Bro, there's got to be one there. Stocking history at Victor Bronig. Uh, yeah, it says that they stocked. It might have not survived. It says that they stocked uh, a tarpon. 17 of them in 1985. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 17 tarpon in 1985. It had to have, sur it had to have survived, bro. Those, those things know. can survive anything. I don't know. 
So they got uh, Red Drum, Hybrid Struck Bass, Channel Blue Catfish, Largemouth Bass. That's it. But That's now, yeah. But in 1985, it says, according to TPWD, they stocked 17 tarpon in 1985. The more you know. <laughs> yeah, dude. Imagine, imagine fucking flipping a jig into a reed there and then <laughs> you're just fighting like a 300-pound tarpon because it's been... 32 years. Do you remember the video Manny sent us of him uh, tarpon fishing out in Puerto Rico? Huh? Oh, yeah. He was like, God, that's a big one. <laughs> Fuck, he sent us a video. Okay. <laughs> nah, it was probably big. It was maybe like it 50 was, pounds. It was pretty big. It's just, it was so far away. It looked so small. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. That's not that's, my that's, 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 Manny's, that's Manny's word against ours. <sighs> so they stopped, sir. Uh, they The last time they put any Corvina in was in 1985 as well. They put... 35 uh 3150 could you imagine though, be like, hey, should look we... up look up kemp's largemouth whatever that means k-e-m-p apostrophe s largemouth and what is that hmm. um that's at ivy <laughs> yeah that's one of them Get her done, boys. Kemp's largemouth. Like, what is it? What's the difference? Oh, click that right there. Right there. Where? That, that to the left, left, right there. What the hell is that? That's dramatic. That's all it is. That kind of looks like a damn yeah, bronic that, bass. Yeah, but that, that's a cartoon. Look. It's a cartoon, bro. There but does it say be... something about Kemp? Mm. Like, why? No, not, nothing on Kemp. That's good. That's no, funny. Well, yeah, brother. So this was just another kind of like uh, get to know what the hell we're doing. Yeah. Next week, I definitely want to get a guest. Like I want to get somebody lined up now, but we need to work on advertising. We need to work on... So who's the sponsor for this episode? Outdoor Alphas? This episode is just going to be Outdoor Alphas till we, get, till we get the ball rolling and we get legitimate things and we can start having advertisement places here. Let's spend the last like 10 minutes before I got to head out. Um, and traffic gets all dumb here in a minute. Um, let's talk about, I guess, what, um, like, in the next two to three month goals for the podcast. Like, what do you want to have done for the podcast? And what do you want to accomplish with the podcast? So, I'll ask you first. Like, what do you want to come out of the podcast in the next two to three months? Um I mean, I can't just say podcast, man. Like, I want content too. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, well, like, what do you want? Like, what do you want? Like, like, wanna, what do you want this to? Like, what do you want this to bring in the next two to three months? Like, but what, what do you mean by bring? Like, like gonna... whether it's monetary value with sponsors, whether it's traction, getting people that actually listen. Um, so ultimately, man, um, I just want this to be like the 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 one stop shop for people that want to hit the waters here. You know, mm -hmm. uh, whether it be like I said, you talking about artists. the store or the podcast, the podcast and the, podcast. the store. Okay, so they're one stop shop to just learn all about fishing in yeah. all facets, yeah. so like, from the governmental side, meaning TPWD, to yeah. guides, to regular guys who kayak on the weekend, weekend warriors, yeah. to uh, artists, tournament anglers who do it for a living to guys who do it as a second income because yeah. they're good at it or just even guys who just and you know like to do it as their escape you know yeah dope yeah um, no. all walks of life man all me too fields. me too i think i want to introduce kayak or i want to introduce fishing in general um to more people and like i told you in the first episode when we were kind of bullshitting around is that i think this is a great way to do that versus um exposing content in places where you know are pristine are a yeah. limited resource and i think i think we're going to get there um we just need to devout a little more time a little more focus on it um i mean you originally want to do a 30 minute podcast and now like we're already we're uh, 50, 50 minutes. minutes yeah i mean because we can talk about whatever we can always talk about we can we can bullshit uh, we can talk to anything about anyone um but i want a little more structure for the next one in the sense of like maybe having somebody subjects. here yeah, well yeah well, or subjects like you and i yeah. come to come together with a plan instead of planning to fail because we don't have anything well, ready. i mean yeah i mean yeah we did freestyle it but th the other thing is we held our conversations down for the full fucking hour you know yeah that's, that's they, easy but like it's not easy for, for us everybody. for gotcha. us it is that's what i was trying to get at so like 
example, like, um, instead of you hassling me down, dude, like, what are we going to talk about this and that? I'm just like real calm with you. And I'm just like, let's just hit record. Yeah, hit record. We talked about OHIV a little bit. We moved yeah. on to different stuff. Yeah, no, I mean, that, the see, freestyle episodes are going to be fun because they're just us. Yeah, like, it's just us being us. Like, it's this is the way we talk <laughs> on the group chat. This is the way we talk we when talk. we're on the phone. A little a little cleaned up. Yeah, <laughs> a little cleaned up. A little cleaned up. That, that, we'd be, and don't act like you don't either. We'd be lying if we said this is exactly how we all talk. We all talk different with our yeah. groups. So, but this is as Whoa, real bro. as we can have it. Bro, Whoa, bro. I love the word groups. Uh, I'm groups. Just oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What do you uh, mean by groups? Tell me more. What do you mean by groups, Drewski? Uh, <laughs> yeah, man, for sure. I want to bring all walks of life. I want to. I want to showcase that all walks of life already exist in yeah. fishing, right? But then also invite people who may be intimidated about it or from it to to not be so intimidated to feel more confident look we're not professional like anglers anglers nah. like where we know every fucking gear ratio on nah. every fucking uh, every uh reel uh we know uh you know every lure you can fucking imagine that that, that ain't us dude you know um and most importantly the, the people that we bring on out here to talk about this shit we don't want them to we don't expect them to know everything you know we want them to be comfortable talking to us like two average shows you know just like, hanging out just hanging out and talking we catch like, fish we're good at fishing don't get it twisted we're good at fishing especially kayak bass fishing but we're not pros we're yeah, we're, we're semi pros we're yeah. semi pros that do it on the weekend <laughs> when we can around my business your business life kids wives all that shit so we just want it to be like a not a not a bros bros podcast but like a just a just a regular old talking about fishing and yeah. all facets of it. And we're not here podcast. to intimidate anybody either nah. when we're talking about it. We're not nah. like we're not gear uh, like tactical gearheads, you know, when it comes to this shit. But yeah, you know, we just uh, shit. Sometimes Albert be talking. I'm like, yo, I don't know what the I don't know what a fucking four odd is. Hold, yeah, on, so, uh, hold on one second. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's true too. Because I guess. For, and from face value, people are like, oh, fuck, Roland's got to, like, no fucking yeah, just no. as much as Albert and vice versa. Yeah, no, I don't. And it's like, no, not at all. I mean, not at all. There's When it comes to, like, some of the electronic shit, dude, I'm a giant boomer. But yeah. then when it comes to, like, talking about EWG hooks or whatever the fuck, Roland's like, what? What? Yeah. What are you talking? And he's used them. But it's just, yeah. like, the technical terms about... I don't want to get too caught up in the technical stuff unless it's, like, focused on that. But yeah. but that's... At least you know it's real. Yeah, and that's the other thing is, like, we want we don't want people to be intimidated, them thinking that's that's all we know. We're going to end up losing you. Nah, man, like, I don't know what the fuck that is, you know? I don't know what the fucking gears to the reels are, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but if you were to compare me to the average fisherman, I'm a little bit better than the average fisherman, but that's because of the guys I'm around. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just not familiar with the terms of the, the game learning so curve was cut short because you were able to get information from somebody who from, had to go through yeah. to get to that point. Instead of it being a trial and error process, I legitimately went straight to the sources, which is and uh, Albert like, and Manny. And you were like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I would have I had to spend years learning that shit exactly. to go yeah. otherwise. That's the only reason why um, it makes me a little bit better compared to the average person, you know. Yeah. But I, 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 I was lucky with that. But... When we, you come down here, if you don't know what some of these things are, bro, don't be fucking intimidated, bro. Like, I'll ask for you. you yeah, know, we're going to go over all that shit. So, man, look, I guess look look out for the next one. It's coming yeah. soon. We're going to definitely try to... We're going to try to... So, by next episode, we need to have a logo, the, the whole bio, the whole bio set up for the Instagram, a couple of reels put out for it. We got to um, get the owner's shop. Uh, we got to tell the owner of the shop that he's not making any money so he can get his ass down here. Get his ass down have here. Panic attack on camera. <laughs> or that and just get to know him. Yeah. Gets, I want to, dude, so real quick, uh, this would be good for reels. So yeah. when it comes to the team. Just say timestamp it. Timestamp it. The, <laughs> from, so when it comes to the team uh, for Outdoor Office Pro Staff, we've got a top 25 angler in the country for kayak bass fishing tournaments. Yeah. We've got a guy who's uh, loves short form content, loves to do uh, kayak fishing, loves to do um, everything in that aspect, which would be me. We've got uh, another tournament angler who's performs has performed well this year um, and also just wants to learn the love of the game. We have uh, who else do we've got? We've got uh, a guy, a guy named Ray. He's dude, he's out there killing it in the salt water, like literally every day. Like he's, I think it's like a this is like a full time gig for him. YouTube, so there's that. Um, and then 
you know, I mean, there's a little bit of there's a little bit of everything in the mix with Outdoor Alphas, and we want to talk with all of them. We want to have uh, each of them will get their own episode. The owner of the store will get his episode, and then we're gonna branch off to start doing like people in the community, so like San Antonio anglers, um, and then just slowly grow from there, become more interesting and interesting by the week. You know, who, who are some of the guys that you want to have on here? I want well, definitely the whole pro staff. Yeah, but like, uh, is, is there somebody like you want to shoot like a little bit high that's out of the country or um, out of town? I wouldn't mind having like a local pro not a local but like a pro angler on the tournament scene yeah. for in a boat um i'd like to talk to some of the big wigs in the kayak scene like there's some really nice guys in the kayak scene that are really good with fishing but really also genuine guys um i want to get swim bait makers for yeah, sure i want to get um god damn it, uh working class zeros uh Oh yeah, that guy. He's yeah, cool. I uh, I can't think of his Instagram name. Instagram makes Michael? this shit so much easier Ma- though. Michael, was that his name? So, Gilbert. Michael uh, Gilbert. Yeah, Michael Gilbert. Yeah, dude. So, so, so if we would ever to have him, like, Instagram and socials make reaching these people so much easier than it would have been five years ago, ten years ago. So we're gonna get it done. We're gonna figure it out. This is again a passion project, but we have a lot of good behind it rolling with the with the podcast gear yeah. uh manny and i and travis with the, being in the uh, kayak scene for so long for really what we feel like bringing kayaks kayak bass fishing to the forefront kayak bass fishing has boomed over the last like seven years that's like the tremendously it's uh, like the uh the bow hunting world uh that's like the bow hunting of the fishing world you know like kayak angling yeah know? i would that's say where you're getting out it, it's called it's co- it, like it costs physical exertion yeah. to catch the fish you can't just hop in a boat and motor around like you've got a the love of the game in a yak is is what it is that, it, that's it why that's why fun. it has to be in the name i know again people are going to think oh you're shooting yourself in the foot i'm not i'm not because that's who we are dude uh i want to i want to bring out here the homeless fisherman uh-huh. i want to get oh yeah yeah he's cool nomadic. he's cool he's nomadic so but Jared again Swafford, all those people all those guys but the thing the name of the game is man if you kayak bass fish or kayak fish in general in a plastic boat chasing fish that brotherhood that shared experience that we all experience is um it's just something you can't you just got to talk about it. you just got to live it it, yeah. it really it, you will never be woken up i don't know why i can well, if we're going fishing, like all of us plan a fishing day, like let's say tomorrow we're going on a badass trip, like running 15 miles on Ivy or something crazy, like dude, I, I wouldn't need a fucking alarm. I'll be up before <laughs> because I'm so... I'll be up before all y'all motherfuckers. Yeah, dude. It's, it's, learn that real quick. It's, it's, it's something you can't explain, man. It's nuts. <laughs> but anyways. Hey, so y'all didn't know what ended up happening when I just said that was uh, when we went out to Brady for uh, Albert's birthday to go fish. That was when we got the badass drone footage. Um... <laughs> I woke up before all of them. I was the first to go to sleep, but I woke up like at 3 a.m. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought we were going fishing. I thought we were going to already start heading out and make the drive out there. Manny woke up, like, scratching his balls, like, going to the restroom. And I was like, yo, what, what time are we leaving? He's like, not right now. Go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he's funny. He's fucking, you can't fuck with him before 5 a.m., bro. He was so fucking angry. That's hilarious. So angry. And then I just heard the fucking, like, toilet start to explode. <laughs> That is funny, man. Well, all right, guys. All we're right, coming man. in at an hour. That was fun. A little freestyle pod episode two. I don't know how many of these are going to actually make it out. Like, yeah, I think are we just going to do reels for these or you want to post these? No, uh, I mean, the whole episode is going to be up. Okay, cool. All yeah, right, no, let's go. Like, it was a good episode. It was a good this episode. One. Okay. This one you're more comfortable or you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're going to get more comfortable and more comfortable. But yeah. for sure, next one, dude, I want a little bit more structure. I'm sure you do too. Yeah. And no, 100%. I, I, I was like, what are we talking about? I like the way you did it. Today you had a dentist appointment. So I like that you came and set it up before so we could just show up at 2 o'clock and get right to it. That, yeah. shit, was, that shit was clutch. So <laughs> now the breakdown. Um, well, and back to our regularly it, scheduled program. It was one of those things where I was just like, Fuck, like, when you would hit me up, hey, let's just go do the podcast studio. I'm like, God damn it, I don't want to fucking set up the podcast studio. I don't know what the... Where. Yeah, 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 like, what then, we're doing. Then you would have Sam, uh, Samuel come in, yo, it's just, we're going to end up moving this, we're going to put in this real badass. Oh, yeah, be yeah. Like, And be like, hey. We we kind of have to be nomadic right now, because yeah. right now, you know, yes, Samuel and the shop is grateful enough to let us shoot back yeah. here, but... Apparently, he sold this fucking table to Yeah, we, <laughs> we're going to come back next week, and we're just going to be on a fucking... We're going to have the camera on this chair, and... This in the background. I mean, it is what it is. We're all yeah. learning. It's all learning curve together. But We're growing. We've hit an hour twice. 
like nothing. But, so I can't yeah. even imagine with a guest, with a little bit of structure, with a little bit of more like thought. Pro What's cool is we have fun and we yeah. do this, and I swear we we put like. 15 minutes of prep into both episodes. So, with more prep and... Um, I wouldn't even say uh, 15 minutes. I said oh, two, two or three two, minutes. Two, I was yeah. just like, hey, because uh, like, what are we going to talk about? I was like, hey, don't worry about it. Like, you know, like, just talk about, let's talk about your weekend. I really we just went from there. I really liked it. We talked about that Ivy video. I hope more people end up watching that. But that video right there from 10 years ago, and I bet you didn't even know that. No, I didn't. The, yeah, that no, video right there is like a video that Manny, Travis, and I would watch. Like, yeah. as little kids, I say little kids, but like 25, 26 years yeah. old, like... Damn, hey. they are there. That's 45 minutes from my grandparents' house. Yeah. Like, let's go. Oh, like, if you didn't know, also, today, uh, what was it, five years ago, I think you and I went fishing. And mm -hmm. that's when I snapped those. This is completely off subject, but I wanted to bring this up. Uh, I snapped those photos of you on the kayak, like, you know, where you're kind of, like, throwing the paddle up in the air. Mm -hmm. And it shows, like, water splashing. Oh, out, yeah. in, out, out in, in the, the hill country. Comfort. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back in the day, back yeah. when there was water. I, I was thinking about that right now. We need to uh, turn that into a canvas. Uh -huh. I need to go dig it out, turn it to canvas, and put it up here in the shop. For sure. There's a lot of stuff we got to do, but yeah. stay tuned for the next one, guys. Uh, this has been the Unpacking Yakin Podcast, episode two. A little more structure. We have a name, yeah. right? Okay. We have a yeah. name. We're moving forward, but hopefully the next one's a little bit more. Maybe we could, like, abbreviate it or something like that for the pod, like, make it easier for people to look. What do you mean? Like, uh, the Unpacking Yakin, like, that's a really long word. Maybe we could abbreviate it. Like, for, like, on the pod? Yeah, or for the Instagram. For the okay, Instagram. so change the Instagram name? Well, I was thinking maybe we can abbreviate it or something like that, unpacking, you know? Unpacking, yakin, unpacking. Because I saw the unpacking, yakin, un and, like, underscores in between. But I didn't have the. So, I mean, I don't know unpacking. if the under. I just did the underscores to separate the words, but yeah. we can try. I just don't know abbreviating right off the jump. No, 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 it, 100%. Because then they're going to, like, what's yeah. UNP? Well, well, we could. Uh, so we could. Do is like probably like put like UNP. Uh, How about we Texas. just put unpacking yakin underscore podcast? I'll change it to that. That or shit, we could just put uh, UNP. To, uh, you know, uh, or podcast. what about just unpacking yakin? How about that's the UNP. name of the Instagram? Well, it, it's it's like you know, let's look at it, like your mom's house is a good fucking example. It's like a, that's a pretty long word. Let's look to see what they have it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I think they produce David's podcast, man. <clears throat> Let's see. Unpacking. Let's go to YouTube. All right, let's check this. See, we even went past an hour. Right. Unpacking Yakin. Let me see if that's... So, like... Oh, that's a name? Unpacking Yakin is a username available. Okay, see... That's where I saw, I saw the. And then we can do the unpacking yak, but that's UH, that. That's uh, just U the U name. UIP. That's U just up U here. UIP sounds good. So look, okay, so look, your your mom's house. Uh huh. They use YMH. Yeah, but they're but they're no, established. I, 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 I get it, but I'm just saying, like, just to make it short for people to look for it on the on the Instagram account. So unpacking yakin is the new name. Yeah, we we could probably just do is uh, UIP, you know uh. Or um, UPY or something like that podcast. Like we, we can figure it out. We'll figure it out. UYP we'll, would be unpacking yakin podcast. We'll UIP. figure it out. But I definitely want to leave the name in the title as yeah. I like that. That says no, the you, unpacking yakin. You can podcast. leave it in the title, but I'm just talking about like the, the name. I don't know why it hasn't adjusted because I've already changed it. But let's see. So, there it is. Yeah. It's changed. Yeah, unpacking something like that. Yakin. Yeah. So that's good. Then later on, what we could do is like when we can abbreviate it. Bigger, yeah. we can abbreviate, we can abbreviate it to it. UNP. Yeah, unpacking UNP yak podcast. podcast. You know, because the, the your mom's the house. Yeah, that they have fucking what's that guy's name? Uh, who? The main comedian. Tom Segura. Yeah, they're Tom Segura. No, no, no. I totally get it, but like I, I just thought of it right now. I was like, damn. I was like, this is almost as long of a fucking name as your mom's house. You know, I was like, yeah. I got curious. I was like, let me see if they have their full name out on their. Uh, gotcha. Social that's medias. that's on their YouTube too. So I mean, yeah. I don't know if that's on their that's, Instagram. That's why I'm me. So, I mean, yeah. that works. All right. All right, y'all. Closing out. Later. Yeah. Peace. All right, brother. Ugh.